Hi, my name is Duffy and we're at Wan Chai right now and behind me is the Hopewell Centre but they've opened a new mall called Hopewell Mall so let's hopefully we can have a look and explore their new restaurants and new shops so let's go From what I heard, this mall is about 1 million square feet large one of the largest malls in Hong Kong so of course I have to torture my muscular legs and have a walk but before we head to the actual mall, we have to travel through this portal of colleagues that are getting their lunches or going back to office. And we're getting close. So now we're gonna have a walk and it's still under construction so there will be some construction noises going around and ooh, Toka Loka. Look, this one's quite cute. Not only that, the mall is also pretty big, like them kids can run around and hopefully trip and fall and Puma, okay, so it's mainly sports brands and stuff There's Miniso, a very cutesy and demo shop that sells toys, plushies, etc but first floor is mainly like sports brand you know, the gym rats are loving the first floor as you guys can see, there's Nike, Adidas uh, I don't know <laughs> about these brands so let's head to the second floor and whoa, we're already in second floor, what? Not gonna lie, the mall is still utterly new so you guys can see how a lot of stalls are still under construction or closed so I do hope that all of the shops will be open by like, I don't know, the end of December But I think it wouldn't be possible However, the highlight of the mall is the Japanese furniture shop that dominated the whole floor Kind of like IKEA 2.0, but I'm excited about it What? Amazing life. Oh yeah, this is definitely something related to health And then we have Timberland and some hiking brands I think, New Balance Check, they have Nintendo Switch. Oh my days. Next to Sasa. No, not that kind of Sasa. Uh, this kind of cosmic brand Sasa, not that kind. Oh my days, bro. I am screaming without the S. It's giving vintage Japanese cafe or restaurant. It looks very cozy. It looks absolutely and utterly warm and cozy. And even the food looks stunning. What? Oh my days, I am drooling, I am kicking my feet, I am removing my shoes, I am removing my socks, I am twirling, I am giggling, I am chuggling. Look, even the menu, bro. Look, even the foods are drawn so perfectly. It's like, you know, it's from anime. It really looks like the shop just came out of an anime and decided to be at this Hopewell Mall. Dude, I really, really have to go in and I really have to eat that food that they serve or whatever. I will order their whole menu and hey, yo, barefoot. Asia? Who let this shop in? There'll be tons of Japanese shops opening soon. It feels like the main theme is Japan, you know, from all of these shops that have like either Japanese text or something related to Japan. So yeah. I feel a lot healthier just by sitting on this dumbbell. The word itself says I am possible. Oh, nothing is impossible. Don't let any Sigma male steal that quote. Look how delicious these look. As you guys can see, the top floor is still closed. They dominate the whole floor. Gear you up. You more. The more gear you up, the more you care. The more care you, the more. <laughs> so we're now on the top floor. They got climbing machines. <laughs> they got climbing machines. Ah! Wait, is that ca is that candy? Get a grip of the view. I could get candy. I'm gonna get candy later. Don't tell my parents about it. Okay, so enough of me yapping and going crazy about it. Here's a clear view of these clone machines. You know, most of them are toys. Most of them are like keychains and this candy machine. I need it. Okay, but anyways, back to topic. A lot of cartoons are from my childhood. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot their names. So if you do recognize any of these cartoons, feel free to comment down below so I could rewatch it and, you know, have some nostalgia back. <laughs> and anyways, oh, I remember this one. Oh, but I forgot its name. It's like like something related to Hello Kitty, I think. Yeah, it's like what? Melody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name's Melody. Okay, <laughs> anyways. It's Woody from Toy Story and Cinna Cinnamon? Cinnabon or uh, anyways, here's like even more plushies. Oh yeah, and I remember like this cartoon is very popular in Hong Kong right now and a lot of students, a lot of my mutuals are you know going crazy over it. And I remember oh my god, kittens! There's kittens! Kitty! Oh my days! Well, I need it. I need this. I will get the whole machine back home. Dude, that is peak childhood right here. Not my style, but... Um, oh wait, these are for children. 
it. Yeah, it probably won't fit you guys. And it won't fit me neither. Oh my gosh, we got plushies. Oh my gosh. One day I'm gonna get this whole shelf. Uh, chat, I think I'm in the wrong section because apparently these are all for children and also, how do you say this word? Wonder, wonder, sor wonder, wonder, sorus. Yes, wonder, sorus. And not only that, there's also spinning machines. Ooh, very tempting. Oh no. My bank account and my wallet is shivering their timbers. But I'm afraid my quote unquote future kiss would be something that meows a lot and is very small and fluffy, aka a cat. And there's also another Japanese restaurant up here that eats like vegan stuff. So, uh, any vegetarians or vegans watching, you are welcome in that restaurant. And yeah, and you know, very far away, there's a shop called Bala Bala. And oh my days, the neon signs making my brown orbs turn to yellow orbs. But I'm quite surprised that they make a whole floor that's dedicated to children and families, despite uh, the birth rate dropping. <laughs> in modern days and oh dolly among a lot of asian kids childhood and my cameraman is going for real and going wild he is a fan of dolly among a closer look at other dolly among souvenirs this is a great reminder to become a millionaire right now i'm gonna spend like half of my money on getting toys and plushies they got donut seats what Yeah, it's not good for my spine. Not recommended for elderly. Ooh, we can get creative in there. Picasso, who? Me. So as we're walking, we notice that there's actually a secret garden outside. So yeah, we're gonna have our Bridgerton moment. Are we feeling the Bridgerton spirit? Are we feeling like we're back in the 18th century spirit? Hopefully you do, because not only that, I do like the color and the texture. Uh. I don't know how it went up, but yeah, texture of the wall is really giving that old vintage vibes. And not only that, there's also like grass and trees. Um, I mean, the trees are still growing, so let it cook, let them cook. I mean, not only that, it's quite comfy and quite nice. And there's like benches for you to sit on or relax on or in Hong Kong's case, sleep on. That was just a joke, don't take it seriously. But yeah, you can you know, chill and relax after inhaling aircon oxygen. No way, we found another historical building. We're now in Ship Street Garden. Okay, that was a bit tough, but my jaw flew away when I saw this piece of masterpiece as I walked out of that garden. And not only that, I could witness someone painting it in real time. It's like, who is this diva? Keep one try weird, real. So we've now arrived at Causeway Bay. What? All of a sudden, we were just at one try. But anyways, uh, behind me is Ikea. And let's get some furniture and roam around. Maybe sleep on the couches. So let's go. Dude, it's only November and they already got like all of these Christmas decorations. Let's feel the jolly spirit. Oh, I, I want to get this. It's like a small village. How cute. And look at the ooms. Ooms, ooms, ooms. This is me. Enough of that yappers yapping. We can now enjoy all of these Christmas decor in a very polite and very demure way. Not only that, there's also like, you know, these dim lights that matches the whole like warm and cozy vibes and ooms. Oh my god, there's ooms. It's that time of the year again. Where the ooms are like, you know, Santa's workers are oh, out again, dude. Okay, what should we name them though? So like every time we see them, we could have like their own little gang name. Should we name them uh, the ooms or the ooms? Uh, I don't know, comment down below. And here's a perfect feel of the whole display set. Very lovely. After feeling the jolly spirit, let's check out some display rooms. I'm not an interior design, so all I could say it's, oh no, amazing. Beautiful, wow, 10 10, wood smash, absolutely would get it, so real, so me core, yas. And that was me walking in the bathroom and about to pull the influencer mode on with my phone out and taking pics and videos and then deleting all of it because I feel like I don't look great enough. A lot of people relate to this. Oh, wait, there are leaks. It smells like body wash but in a good way. Another interesting thing about Hong Kong culture is that whenever people visit IKEA during the weekends, it's basically packed with people sitting around or even sleeping. I have seen people taking naps, see? To the point where they even have to put up this board. It's telling you to go home, it's telling you to piss off. But you know what I'm gonna do? And we are witnessing actual people sleeping on the chairs in real time. <laughs> no actual way. 
and here's me on this rocking chair and oh, oh, she dead. Anyways, the couches look decent and comfy. Nothing much other than Tan Tan. Delphi in her modern era slay the house boots down on the seas. The couch is giving Hannibal a mafia boss from book talk, so of course I have to step in and make a scene, chugging it, asserting dominance. Alpha male vibes! Yo, someone draw fan arts and write fanfics about these two. Those two couches have a special bond with one another. The color matching says it all. But anyways, here's me feeling the cushion and the blanket fabrics, seeing if they are comfy and smooth enough for my skin. Just joking, loving the patterns though. This is what an average stuffy stay goes like. So firstly, getting up from the couch after sleeping or watching some sort of telly, she hates bats so she sleeps on the couches, then quickly heads to the dining table, gets some meatball spaghetti on her bowl, being the big bag that she is, and drinking some tea beforehand so she could wake her stomach and her digestive system up, and it's time to dig in. Mmm, yum yum yum. Imagine eating while lacking proper manners, don't learn from her. She just assaulted the pot while still cooking with her bare hands, bro. She is heat proof. She has become an immortal after eating those spaghetti meatballs. A very cute room but her laying down and doing the dead roach move was not scripted. Get her back from Ikea! This is peek into design for a living room. It's semi-dark, warm, cozy and a spring of nature and arts! Arts on the wall! That is super important for the living room! And me observing every single small detail on each line. After that, alcohol. Extraordinary amounts of alcohol. Doing the classic pouring and chugging in one go move, dominance asserted. I can feel my sigma male vibes coming in me. The path to becoming an alcohol Alcoholic. She's hanging off to sleep. Oh no. Duffy, wake up. Log in. You still got more to film. She's gone. Um, She's asleep. Oh my days. I want to thank whoever came up with this. I think the longer I stayed, the more I will start using old English to talk and think. To be or not to be, that is the question. Type of living room. There's tons of luxurious tea bags on the shelf too. What in the posh gentleman type of shelf? And me being nosy and picking up some books to read, but it's not English, so oops. Pretending nothing has happened. Dude, we can have like a very, very philosophical conversation in this room. Welcome back. What is life? I think, therefore I am. After getting philosophical, it's back to the modern world. Oh man. But anyways, I'm not a big fan of white furniture. I mean, it's fine, but... Okay, actually, it's not fine. I hate white furniture. It's giving hospital, it's giving mental hospital vibes. But these small cabinets are looking fine. Smash or pass? A definite smash. Wait, no, I, I didn't mean like that. Oh my god, not, not, oh. Anyways, look at this small little display. Oh my gosh, maybe white furniture is not too bad after all, because... After pairing up with this, this is a 10 out of 10. So we're now in the cabinet section. Look at all of these cabinets. Guys, help me choose one that's suitable for hiding limbs and legs. I feel like this one works best, but it could be a bit more suspicious. This one's just straight up, no, it's see-through. And people are always like, oh my god, Halloween's over. You can put your decorations away. Nah, -uh, I still got dead limbs lying around. So that's why I'm in Ikea looking for the perfect cabinet or wardrobe to store them body parts. YouTube, don't take this seriously. Uh, this is all just a joke. Chat, are we feeling jolly? Are we feeling the Christmas spirit? Here's a more detailed look on each item. Items, mini wrapping papers or gift bags, gift wraps, something that I'd never be good at. <laughs> I wrap my gifts so horrible that one can already tell or see what gifts they're getting. Unless I wrap them up in a round shape, then they would never know what they're getting. P.S. It's either a sweater or a mug. Here's some chairs and tables and yeah, sleigh I guess. Illuminati Mansion? Nah, get those tinfoil hats out! Hey yo, was that a weasel blue? Um, anyways, we're now at the table and chair section, but being the duffy that I am, I use the floor, the couch, and kitchen counters to eat or drink, and I disco and sleep on the tables. Never know your next move! Not only those are suitable for dining indoors, but it's also favorable for outdoors. I mean, you can phone IKEA and tell them to help you deliver these outside your park so you can enjoy dining with nature. And have random people telling you, are you okay? Are you mental? Please get back in your house. Hello guys, welcome to this kitchen apartment. I'll be your host, Duffy, and let's get straight to it. So first of all, open the door. What is that? Is that another cabinet? What? It's a friend? Pretty secret. Yeah, we got gatekeep fridges, so that's why they're disguising it as a cabinet. Anyways, look, you can fling around like how you fling your 
And then we got tons of cabinets. Who would store that many jars? Yeah, suitable for whipping children. Dude, how many cabinets are there? Is a seat you can just watch and observe your housewife or your male wife cooking? You guys can make pies, you guys can make uh, cherry pies and whatever. Oh, oh wow, it's soft. Nice. They got some cookie cutters. So I don't know uh, if the owner of this kitchen is a uh, cabinet obsessed, but only the price of one billion dollar you can get this kitchen. And if you like and subscribe, you could get it for free. Yes. So yeah, like and subscribe right now, and you will get this whole kitchen set for free. Weezer Blue spot it. Girl, put that back down. That was the worst kitchen host I've ever witnessed. Hidden talent, keep it hidden. We're now passing through this um random shelves, boxes, or things that host other things for you. So <laughs> but our flat has basically nothing so let's walk quicker to the highlight parts of the show Hey there dear parents as you guys can see I am actually a very good student I am the top student of my school Delusional school Dude I'm scared of breaking this actually <laughs> Oh my days They have West Life and Air Supply English <laughs> exercise I know nothing about this I am actually the worst in English Let's look at something artistic. Even Picasso has been real silent ever since I drew this. After becoming the gifted child of the family, it's time to become the disappointment of the family. We have this whole gaming chair, gaming setup. Oh my god, this chair is bomb. Roblox Tycoon Simulator. So I've equipped my camera on this phone holder and this is so sick. It is only like... Hang on a second, guys. Yeah, hi, father. How have you been? Um, I've been running low on some pocket money and I need some financial support on my filming equipment, so... Low-key inflation be hitting harder than any sort of vehicles. Almost fell because bad balance, but we were literally spinning like we're in the microwave. Very fun and dizzy. If you don't puke, it's just a small spin. Then here's me asserting dominance with my backside. Starting with one bed and ooh, another display room for me to manifest. This one looks okay-ish, not too bad. Hey sisters, welcome back to my makeup channel. Today I'll show you guys how to apply mascara. Begging everyone watching to not be like her. Try the best with respect, they have feelings too. Even the cameraman is telling her to stop hurting the bad's feelings. She's setting up a bad image for a younger audience, not ah. Not gonna lie, the bed felt so comfy, so I could literally fall asleep within 5 seconds after fully laying on the bed. Excuse me, why am I seeing BTS in IKEA? What? I'm seeing K pop in IKEA? And Duffy has forgotten to take her meds again, oh my days. Another ooms mentioned! Oh, hell, the ooms! What in the Barbie? I mean, Blackpink. The hot pink made me feel very energetic. But let's try on the bucket hats. I call them bow hats instead, because I made zero with it once. Do I look sporty? Comment down below. Do I look like a sports girl while I hold this hydro flask? <laughs> Not a big fan of seafood wardrobe because deep down I am a messy person. But anyways, we're in the sink area where many movie villains or life changing moments happen after staring at themselves for a long time in the mirror. I'll be recreating the scene and let it be an audition tape for my future phone calls about getting a role in movies. As a background prop. I don't think she can fit in a children's bed, but why is she still trying? Ah, <laughs> look at her, she can't fit it in. Santa's work would be escaping and hiding in IKEA. Again, we're quickly dashing through because we felt like we're invading a section that isn't ours. And now we're at my favorite section, the toys and plushy section. Let's go! We're towards the end, let's go! Oh my god, am I hanging swap by well? Ah! This is what I mean when I say I can cook. I just stick them on the table and serve it. How convenient. And this is what we call the ancient Chinese calculator, but kids version. So this is where you like, I don't know, one plus one, and then you just sort of like keep adding it. The left side are the numbers and the right side are the answers. I'm so glad I'm born in an era where calculators exist. Me when I got the music lover autism instead of the good at math or good at science autism. <laughs> Last but not least, we're at everyone's favorite section of IKEA, the food section! Woohoo! We're getting food, baby! It's like a reward after walking and sitting or napping on the furniture or even getting lost, but now you've made it, so there's some frozen foods, very convenient for late night snacks or when you're too tired to cook so you can just take them out and microwave them to their hot and serve, boom, food! 
And then we got some delicious jams, crackers, biscuits with cream filling, and my favorite nachos and salty crisps. Here we got some paste, we got some like salty jams. I forgot the name! Salty jams? Oh, here, anyways, here's some juice and some yogurt. Very healthy. We love a health queen. And ooh, alcohol. Um, I could drink it two years later, but right now I can't or else the cops are gonna get me. Oh no. But anyways, here's even more frozen foods such as shrimps, uh, sausage, pizza, and some single serve meals. Wow, this is peak convenient. This is like peak heaven for people who doesn't like cooking that much, aka me. Even more sauces, even more like soup base or paste, I guess. Um, anyways, anything that, you know, adds the flavor to foods. And here we got some, oh, chicken tenders and chicken drumsticks. I love me some chicken. Are you guys a chicken fan? Comment down below. Welcome to the junk food area, everyone's second heaven. There's chocolates, there's crisps, there's cheese balls, and there's biscuits. Oh my days, they even have cookies as well. But either way, I love their like chocolate sandwich biscuit. It's very delicious. And I just realized that I am a complete sucker for biscuits. Like if you dip them in tea, oh my days the flavors just arises up and there's the cereal section we got oatmeal we got some granola cereals and whatever even more jams right now and we got some cheese crackers or crackers with cheese and there's protein bars what here's the cake area mm, my favorite section i love almond and i love almond cakes here we got even more sweets like oh durian and some macaroons and some lava cakes cinnamon rolls waffles very delicious and over here we got some christmas gingerbread kits what that is so lovely and not only that but they have some new items aka ice creams what and they have like tons of flavors too there's like matcha there's like a uh, sesame and there's oh uh, durian oh my gosh uh oh -uh, not a uh, durian but anyway so we picked up the matcha and have a quick look and oh my gosh this is the display of the gingerbread house someone cooked in here i bet one of the workers are an artist they absolutely cooked and more ooms oh my gosh more ooms and here's some christmas food such as like turkey ham i think and red wine i love me some alcohol Rawr! and yeah after this i really do feel the jolly spirit here's the bakery session with some cookies and some sourdoughs baguettes and bagels oh they even have sourdoughs too what a surprise shocker isn't it and here's some drinks uh, for you to take away along with your bread and more juice and yeah that's it what you get all of these look so tempting. Ooh, I just wanna. Oh, should I get the double chocolate chip cookies? Comment down below and let me know. I'm gonna get the apple pie. So this is the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And remember to check out my other videos and shorts as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye guys. Bye bye. Merp merp. Thank you.